Hello guys, I'm here in our backyard and uh, I'm checking all this uh, uh, solar, solar light that we have here as you could see in this video, okay? And together with my dog over here, okay? Okay, I do hope that you will like this and uh, most especially there in the Philippines that we, we are having a problem with uh, uh, with electricity, high cost of electricity. You could use uh, solar, solar as as a alternative, and uh, it will not uh, cause fire in your area. Only it must be placed under the sun. Don't place that in in a uh, in a shaded area. Put it is under the sun, direct heat of the sun. Okay. And this is your host, Freddy, Filipinos, America blog. A small tip for you to have a, a, a solar energy that you could count on. And this is your host, Freddy, Filipinos, America blog. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do so. Okay, do so. Okay? And please don't, please subscribe to my channel. Give a big likes and as well as make some comment. This is Rose Freddy, Filipinos, America blog. Guys, as you could see, this is our garden. And you could see uh, my dog over there. And you could see the solar garden light. And it is, uh, it is, um, we put some of these uh, garden lights around the backyard. And this is our garden right now. And you will see the big difference. When, when we are, when I arrange it, and you will see the, the, the result after I arrange it during uh, daytime. Okay, as you see, this is our patio. And watch this. Yeah, I'm here at the backyard right now. The time is 10 o'clock and the temperature is 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So as you could see, the, the, all the lightnings here uh, are, are well lighted now and I will make uh, the necessary correction. And all, all of these are powered by solar, solar energy. It needs to be, it needs to be uh, under the sun, not in a dimly lighted, or it must be direct to the sun so that it will be effective, okay? So don't put your solar light hidden or uh, shaded by an object like uh, your house, your your fence, it must be directly under the sun, so it will be more effective. Maybe perhaps maybe on the rooftop, okay, on the rooftop, so it will be lighted, okay. Most especially when you are going to use it as a lamp, uh, lamp for the post or post lamp, it must be direct to the sun, and, and you will see. It, it's very effective. Look at this uh, I have. Okay? It is well lighted in the backyard and it's too dark here. Okay? So that's the big difference. Okay? This is Rose again, Freddy. And I'm going to show you the front. But uh, it is a, a little bit uh, uh, less light because it is covered or under shaded, ob under -shaded one. So I will put it uh, an unnecessary uh, improvement by tomorrow. Okay, this is your host, buddy, Filipinos America blog. Guys, as you can see, it's night time right now. The, te the time is 10 p.m. And then you see those uh, solar garden lights that we have. Uh, there are some questions. If you, we could uh, leave the lights out in the winter, the answer is yes. Uh, solar lights are waterproof that they can be left outside all year round. And there are some questions also. Will solar lights charge on a cloudy day? The short answer is yes, why not? Although direct sunlight is a key to charging solar panel, they continue to charge even on a cloudy overcast days. And you could see right now it's still purple at 10 p.m. Uh, formerly, by this time, it is not working because the solar panel is not under the sun. So I, I, I put it under the sun, directly under the sun, and see the result. Okay, I will make more adjustment by tomorrow. And this is only a part one. And you will see the next part two will be 
in the next days to come. Okay? This is an upgrade of solar. Why solar lights are very effective, more especially in power crisis.